Tony here. For today's 31 Days of Horror video, I'm going to tell you what I watched from October the 17th through the 23rd. So I did get to watch a lot of the classic horror films during this week, and so I wanted to share what my thoughts are on some of these particular titles. So the first film I watched was Frankenstein from the 1930s. I, it was just amazing to see how well that they did this film back in the 1930s. Um, the way that they shot it, the way that it looked. Um, a very quiet movie, you know, movies nowadays, there's just music throughout the whole um, film. But when they were doing these, there was hardly any kind of music um, playing, so it was very atmospheric. I just really enjoyed watching this. So I did do a double feature um, on the 17th, so after I finished watching this one, I did take time and watch The Bride of Frankenstein. I think it is a shame that they did not release this one on 4K when they were doing all the other um, the other four. Um, but I did enjoy The Bride of Frankenstein. I actually enjoyed this one more than I enjoyed Frankenstein because during this film, of course, we do see more of Frankenstein's monster throughout the film. There's more humor in it, more characters, and so I really enjoyed The Bride of Frankenstein. Okay, on the next day, I watched um, Old. So uh, me and my wife actually took time and watched this one. I think I received this, so that was on the 18th. I did receive it early from Best Buy, my order. So I was very fortunate to be able to watch this one. Um, and I really enjoyed the story. I think it was I think it was pretty good. It's not a film that I would be re-watching often, but I did enjoy the story and the performances and it looked really good and sounded great in 4K. So um, definitely enjoyed that. Okay, the next day I watched Let the Right One In. Now this right here is one that was recommended to me by a subscriber. Um, I had recently watched um, Let Them In or something like that. I think it's called Let Them In. Um, on the the American remake of this film. I really enjoyed that one and somebody suggested that I check out the original so I did and this right here is a really good film. Um, I did watch the dubbed version just because I it was late I didn't really want to read the subtitles and the dub the dubbed version was kind of um, corny at times but I really enjoyed the story and I would highly recommend you check this one out. Okay, the next day was another recommendation. I watched The Houses October Built. Um, I really enjoyed this one just because I always grew up going to um, haunted houses. I actually got to work in a haunted house for three years um, during the Halloween season as a part-time job. And I just love everything there is about haunted houses. And this right here is a great story to kind of demonstrate the different haunted houses throughout the movie. Um, so I would highly suggest you check this one out if, you, if you're interested in anything to do with haunted houses. Okay, the next day I kept on with my Universal Monsters theme and I did watch um, Dracula. This is the 90th anniversary still book. Um, this one right here was a first time complete watch for me. I've only seen bits and pieces of this film. And man, I really enjoyed this one. This right here was... Um, Actually, I'll, I'll tell you more about the other ones that I've seen, but this right here was was good. It was it was not a perfect film as far as what I was anticipating, but I did enjoy the story. I did enjoy the performances, and definitely just the way I enjoyed Frankenstein and The Bride of Frankenstein, I enjoyed the way that the movie was filmed and the way that it looked. So, very happy to have watched that. So, the next day, I watched The Wolfman, which is probably one of my favorite ones out of all the Universal Monsters just because of the storyline, the acting, and um, it was more, there was more dialogue. And I could, I just really got into this particular story. Um, and it was interesting to see how that they did things like this back in those days, the special effects. Um, you know, you consider them pretty corny nowadays, but I, I, I'm, just, I'm just always amazed about how they do these um, particular films way back then. So very, very much enjoyed The Wolfman. If I can talk. Okay, next up um, for the um, last day viewing of this particular week, I watched the original The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, this is a watch that I've seen. This is a movie that I've seen many, many times and just always enjoy it when I watch it. I try to watch it every Halloween season and so this movie really just, hold, just holds up very well. I enjoy the story. 
the um, the way that it looks, the way that it sounds, just amazing to me. So if you've never seen the original The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, definitely check that one out. And then lastly, I watched the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. Um, it had been a long time since I've seen this one. And so I was doing a video, I'm doing a video of where I'm comparing both the original to the remake. So be looking for that video. So I did take time to watch this one again. Really enjoyed this one. It wasn't, I didn't enjoy it as much as I did the the first time. I This right here was my only, my this was only, this was my, this was only the second time I had ever seen this movie. Um, I do remember fondly liking it before. Um, a little less this time around, but I do like the way that the movie looked. Um, I liked the way that it was shot, the way it sounded. Um, the acting wasn't my favorite, but I enjoyed the kills and the different things that happened in this story. So very happy to have seen this one again during this week. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular movies that I saw during this particular week. Let me know if you have any suggestions of other films that I need to see before the 31 Days of Horror is over. I really do enjoy your comments and your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.